Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here, and in today's quick tip, we're going to be talking about the 17S mounting interface. So, that's something that's kind of been around for quite a while, uh, but not a whole lot of people know about it. And the 17S mounting interface is a NATO standard agreement mounting interface. So, what does that mean, and why is it important, and what the heck is it used on? So, that interface itself was originally designed for optics and lasers and light mounts. So, I'll show you what it is here. If you'll take a look at this 1913 mount from ADM, you'll notice that there's a channel that's cut in it and you have a few different hole spacings here. So the hole spacings themselves are not really standard unless you're talking about uh, mounting optics, then usually they come in a, at a two inch hole spacing. What the 17S actually refers to is the width and depth of this actual channel that's cut in it. So for example, if you take a look at this adapter, and I'll cover this in just a few moments here, uh, you'll notice that you have some screws stuck in there and then you have this channel or this protrusion on this side, you have a male and a female in, this protrusion on this side here uh, that will actually fit down into that channel and these two things can mount to each other. So specifically what we're gonna talk about here is mainly gonna be bipods. So there's optics and lasers and stuff out there that fit it, sure. Um, but we're gonna be talking about mainly bipods here. So for example, this is a MDT bipod. Uh, Brownells makes bipods in this mounting interface as well, as well as a few other brands. And you can see, of course, the protrusion here and two threaded holes in it. And the reason they do this is to make it versatile so you can really mount this one bipod on pretty much anything without having to rely on you know, whether or not it has a 1913 rail or an Arca Swiss rail uh, or anything like that. So what you can actually do is take this area of 419 Arca Swiss mount and then you can attach this directly to it. So now this bipod is set up to mount on an Arca rail. And if you're not familiar with what that is, uh, if you look at the bottom of this MDT chassis here, you'll notice that there's a rail that's cut into the bottom of it. And it's a really solid, robust platform for mounting bipods uh, or mounting the rifles to actually tripods. You can mount them on tripods as well using this same platform. It's just a better, wider, more robust mount uh, because you have a larger surface area of contact than trying to mount it like via something like M-Lock uh, or 1913 rail or something like that uh, because it's made for mounting heavier things to it. Like this rifle right here is not a lightweight firearm. Uh, so that's why that exists. But on the flip side of that, I can take this same bipod and just put an adapter on it for uh, 1913 rail. And companies like you know, Magpul um, and there's a few others, they make mounts that are actually a mixture between Arca and 1913. So you can you know, basically run those together or you can run a dedicated 1913 mount or a dedicated Arca mount. So it's a really versatile platform. And you can also take something like this here. So this adapter, um, is an adapter for different types of bipods. So your bipods that mount into the, the front post like this, you can actually just take one of those and adapt it to uh, this 17S mount, and then you can run it on Arca 1913, whatever. So now you have a bipod that was you know, only gonna fit you know, one or two stock types, and now you can run it on pretty much any firearm you want. So really versatile platform there, but there's stuff to look out for as well. For example, take this uh, ADM mount that we were talking about you know, just a few moments ago. Even though it has, has multiple hole spacings cut in it, this one's really only meant to run uh, optics and lasers and lights and things like that that are set up for this hole spacing. Because like I said before, the hole spacing isn't necessarily standard, uh, which is kind of the downside to this. So what that means is this mount right here, like I said, it's not designed specifically for bipods uh, so you got to be careful for that and the reason is, is because even though the hole spacing is close it does not line up so you would have to modify this base or this adapter to actually use a bipod on so something to look out for there uh, but even with those drawbacks it's still a really versatile a good option uh, especially if you want to run a bipod on multiple different platforms so if you have any questions or comments feel free to post them down below 
If you have any experience with these mounting setups, uh, let us know down below. We'd like to hear your thoughts on that as well. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.